Marketo bought for $1.8 billion, PayPal halts operations in Turkey, and a $14,000 smartphone. It's Tuesday, May 31st, and this is Crunch Report. What up, TechCrunch land? Hope you had a great weekend and a fantastic holiday. I sure did. You ready for some tech news? Marketo, the marketing software giant that went public in 2013, was just bought in cash for $1.79 billion by private equity firm Vista Equity Partners. The news ends weeks of speculation in which people guessed that Marketo would potentially be snatched up by companies like Microsoft or SAP. Marketo shareholders will receive $35.25 in cash per share, representing a 64% premium to the unaffected closing price as of May 9th. The deal should close in Q3 2016. PayPal announced today that it is suspending business operations in Turkey effective June 6 after failing to obtain a new license for its services. Turkey has been making moves to bring tech business in the country under more localized control. And today, the payments company became the latest casualty. PayPal had this to say. We respect Turkey's desire to have information technology infrastructure deployed within its borders. However, PayPal utilizes a global payments platform that operates across more than 200 markets rather than maintaining local payments platforms with dedicated technology infrastructure in any single country. The closure will affect tens of thousands of businesses and hundreds of thousands of consumers in the country. Finally, a robotic friend has arrived to help me around the house and educate my daughter while I'm busy standing in front of the camera here at Crunch Report, airing weekdays at 4 p.m. Pacific on TechCrunch.com. ASUS chairman Johnny Shi was recently joined on stage with Zenbo, the company's newest robotic addition to the Zenvolution. Zenbo has a camera with facial recognition capable of making video calls and monitoring the home remotely, coupled with voice commands and vocal responses. It can play music and movies, provide reminders, help out with various online tasks, and even comes with some educational capabilities to entertain and educate the children. The robot doesn't yet have a release date, but the product will be available for $599. According to Reuters, companies behind popular messaging apps like WhatsApp and Telegram have a year to move all the data they have on Iranian users onto servers in Iran. I swear, governments are like jealous exes control issues. The Iranian government wants to be able to track private and semi-private conversations on messaging apps. iMessage, WhatsApp, and Telegram all have end-to-end -end encryption enabled so that not even the companies themselves can see what's being sent between individuals. So I don't understand how dumb governments are going to get that data that the companies that invented the messaging platforms can't access. Seriously, Iran, you're doing it wrong. Just spy on your people like all other countries. Don't tell them and betray their trust. We love that. No word yet from the messaging companies on their response to this. Serin Labs, a startup created by a team of founders out of Israel, used an event in London to unveil the Solarin, a privacy-first mobile device. The Solarin smartphone will go on sale June 1st with prices starting at just under $14,000. Some specs on the phone. It will be loaded with features from third-party companies such as mobile security anti-cyber attack software from Zemperium, and encryption software from Coolspan, a Snapdragon 810 processor, a 23.8 megapixel camera, and a 5.5 IPS LED 2K resolution screen. Interestingly, the company says the phone will only be sold to people who are identified with their passports. That's the report for today. I'm Tito Hamzy. Crunch Report airs every weekday at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific on TechCrunch.com. You can also find us on iTunes and on YouTube. See you tomorrow. Arrivederci.